My biggest fear is that the vaccine will not be the solution. Most of us are feeling it. After nearly a year of social distancing, Natasha Vasilovich just feels stressed. My new normal is, is it's pretty lonely and it's repetitive. Do the same thing every day. She's not sleeping well either, and research suggests it could be the result of lockdowns. An Italian study looking at the effects of quarantine due to COVID-19 found nearly 60% of those surveyed reported poor sleep quality, and more than 30% felt high anxiety. If we're not sleeping, we definitely have a heightened sense of anxiety. We have a heightened sense of irritability. Experts say when we're feeling isolated and alone, our brain goes into survival mode. It signals the body to make cortisol, a stress hormone that keeps us alert and ready for threats. Our sleep also becomes lighter to protect ourselves at night. For short periods of time, those stress responses help us survive. But if we feel alone for too long, they can lead to high blood pressure, mood swings and fatigue. Doctors insist, even if it's virtual or by phone, join a club or talk to at least one person you can be vulnerable with. You'd be surprised how many people have things in common with what they're dealing with around the pandemic. And that support helps big. Support is key, but our brain would also relax if we knew when this pandemic might end. I heard the phrase variant of greater concern. I thought, oh no. Big indoor parties and travel may take longer, but experts say people can likely come together once the majority of Canadians are vaccinated. If we can do that by September, then by Christmas, we'll be enjoying that impact. Until then, doctors say do your best to live in the moment. I'm so bored. You're so bored? Yeah, I hear ya. Vasilovich adds, knowing others are also feeling stressed does make her feel less alone. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.